Hi and welcome to this video on custom groups. What are custom groups? How do you create them? How do you allocate your different holdings to different custom groups? And finally, how to visualize all your custom groups as part of your reports. To begin with, when you log into your share site, you'll see that all your holdings are by default grouped either as market or currency, sector classification, country, and do not group. Now, custom groups is a way for you to visualize your own asset allocation strategy according to your own rules. You find them actually under the account dropdown, and then you find a menu item called custom groups. In this case, I've got a custom group called asset allocation model two, where I've categorized all my holdings as global stocks, domestic stocks, unlisted, domestic listed property, and so on. If you want to create a new category, when I just click on the new category, make sure to scroll to the right where it's actually created a new category. And let's say I just want to call it category three as an example. And I can simply drag and drop a particular holding into that category. Now, if you want to properly allocate all your holdings to the appropriate buckets. So for example, I've got JP Morgan Chase here, and I'm going to drag that and drop it into global stocks. So now that you've allocated all your holdings to the appropriate custom group, let's go back and look at the portfolio. When you look at your portfolio, uh, you can see that all your holdings are categorized according to the category into which you've put them in your custom groups. Now, then you can compare and contrast how each of these groups have performed against one another. So in this case, global stocks have, have returned 18.25% annualized, whereas the domestic stocks category has only returned 0.68 and so on. Now, there are two other reports that I'd like to take you through, which are really powerful in visualizing your asset allocation strategy. Let's look at the performance report. Under the performance report, you will largely find the uh, information that's under your overview page, uh, which is actually uh, categorized into different asset uh, groupings. So in this case, you've got global stocks, domestic stocks, and similarly, a more detailed view of actual annualized return. Going back to reports, I'd like to take you through how this is then uh, visualized as part of your diversity report. Diversity report is a way to visualize your diversification. Again, you have various ways in which you can visualize your diversification. But in this case, I'm just going to look at the asset allocation model too, to then look at how I'm performing against my own goals of asset allocation goals. So. In this case, I've got global stocks at 48%, domestic stocks at 37%, and so on. If that is aligned with your asset allocation model, you've got a perfectly balanced portfolio. Otherwise, you can use this to then reallocate your asset allocation to the model where you, uh, to, to your target model. Finally, I'd like to take you through the contribution analysis report, which is basically a visualization of the performance co contribution of your different asset groupings. What that means is how has the performance of or your total overall performance and what is the contribution of each asset grouping into that or a custom group into that. So when I look at my overall portfolio, you can see that a huge component, 88% of contribution has actually come from one custom group or one categorization of my holdings and so on. Uh, you can look at uh, the domestic uh, stocks, which is 3.41% uh, and so on. That concludes our video on custom groups. If you've enjoyed this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel at ShareSite. Make sure to subscribe to all our social media channels at ShareSite and keep up to date with all tips and tricks on using ShareSite. Thank you.